Welcome back to Welcome back to Chinch Trap Chaps, the Mountain Dew Conspiracy. <laughs> the Mountain, Mountain Dew Chronicles. <laughs> There's definitely something different. Oh, the light! It's a zombie! Maybe it's the plastic they use. Could be. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was gonna tell you, you were talking about ABCs of Death. I was gonna talk about a movie that Melissa and I watched that was pretty bad. Called Wish Upon. Came out last year. Um, <laughs> you'd have to see, it's almost like a modern kind of like bad, bad good movie, sort of. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it came out last year, and it's like, uh, the type of movie that is aimed at like the dumb teenagers of the day, you know, they'll go to the movies, and, you know, it's like, oh, this movie looks creepy, and then they go see it, and they think it's creepy. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't creepy at all. It was, it's a movie about... A teenage girl whose dad's her dad uh, his job who, who, is, whose dad is gay. No, her dad his job is a garbage picker, so he goes around and he picks garbage, and uh, you know she she goes through the typical high school crap. There's the bullies and the you know people who think she's dumb or whatever, but her dad ends up finding a, a like a Chinese like fortune box or whatever in the garbage. Uh, so she gives it uh, to her, and it just so happens that she's taking like a Chinese like language course in in school, which makes no sense. Um, well, no, that makes sense. Chinese. Oh, also, is... also, it's like the movie opens with her mom just hanging herself in front of her. Oh, great. <laughs> so that's the, that's the you know, it's fun, right? Um, well, let me guess. She fucking reads no. some transcription on it. Yeah, so she reads the transcription on it because she's reading. Cha- she's taking a Chinese class. Oh, this is great! I can learn but, <laughs> to some fucking curse. But, but real quick, but no, but real quick before I even get into like the rest of the plot, the funny, the fu- like the funniness <sighs> happens right up front, where like she's riding her bike, like it's you know like ten years in the past or whatever, mm-hmm. and she's a little kid, and then she's uh, riding around on her bike, and then like a little puppy's following her and stuff. It's all happy and joyous, and then she she leaves her bike outside, like her little tiny pink bicycle, and then that's when like the tone completely shifts from happy go lucky to oh my mom's hanging herself in our attic. Um, but then like it cuts ten years later, and then her little pink bike is in the same exact position that it was in the flashback. So she never <laughs> so moved. She it. never moved the little pink bike in ten years. It's like. Okay. <laughs> That's some superstition. Yeah, right. Like, who does that? Like, if I didn't leave that in here, if I didn't leave my little pink bike right, <clears throat> right there, then my mom wouldn't have murdered. So. Yeah, right. So anyway, her 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 dad finds the the Chinese fortune box, and then she reads on it. I think it says like seven wishes or something like that. So yeah, then, so it's like a monkey's paw kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. So now now she. <laughs> So now she starts making wishes, and um, her first wish is like, I wish angry bitch girl that was mean to me this morning just rots or something. So then cuts to the girl, and then she wakes up, and she's rotting. She's got, like, a skin disease. Oh, my. But then the way the plot works is that um, for every wish that she makes, there's a blood price or something like that. So somebody around her is going to die and, and, like, you know, to balance out the wish or whatever. And that's the whole theme of the movie. It's and it's it's stupid because it's like the way in which the people die is like a, a like a final destination esque you know accident type thing. Mm-hmm. Like one of the guys, like one of the people, like slipped in his bathtub and snapped his neck. <laughs> and I then, wish that guy would snap his neck in a bathroom. And then and then he like and then he uh, and then he tries to get up and then like the faucet is like right above his head. So then he smashes his head into the faucet and just drowns in his own bathtub while he's bleeding. It's hilarious shit like that. There's another lady later on who's got... She's doing dishes in the, in the kitchen. And she's, like, messing with the garbage disposal. And oh, I guess yeah. it keeps getting, like, backed up or whatever. And then, uh... Um, it's always the fucking garbage disposal. And then she's got, like, a really long braid of hair. And then it gets sucked into it. And then she, like, snaps her neck. It's really stupid. It's so dumb. <laughs> Why does everyone snap their necks? <laughs> but it's, like, it's... It, it has those moments where I think I think like it was a script written by like a sixty year old woman and it tried to like cater to like teenagers so it's like it just doesn't work at all. Yeah, um, that's so relatable. I always do dishes and 
fucking fuck with the garbage the, disposal. The best part of the whole movie, though, was that Barb from Stranger Things is in it. <laughs> oh, yeah? She's my favorite character in the whole movie. <laughs> and what's, what's, <laughs> weird, what's weird, though, is, like, Barb, like, felt like such a believable character. At least, you know, like, she, her acting was good in, in Stranger Things. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. In this movie, her acting is terrible. Oh. Like, I don't understand, like, like was the script just that bad that she just didn't put any effort into it? Like, was she just doing it to get some money? I mean, or maybe exposure? she just sucks. And, and then she just I, did really good at uh, <laughs> Stranger Things. That's what I'm wondering, because I'm like, like, her acting is really bad in, uh... In this Wish Upon movie, it's terrible. And then, like, they're in the middle of, like, the scavenger hunt or something. And then, like, there's one of her, one of girl's friends, like, you know, main character girl. One of her friends is playing, like, a Pokemon Go type thing. And they're, like, in this, like, hotel or something. And then, like, she, she's she got to get, like, this one last monster or something like that. And it happens to be in this hotel that they're in. Mm-hmm. So then she's got to go up to the 52nd floor... <laughs> Uh, in the elevator. I'm sorry, that's not it. how those games work. Yeah, but that's what she's got to do. She's got to go up to the top floor, and then she captures the thing. She's like, yes, I'm the ultimate beast master. And then fucking uh, falls off and then And then she gets in the elevator, and then it crashes, and like she gets impaled on like some metal thing. <laughs> I would have liked it more if it falls, and then she breaks her neck. <laughs> yeah, that would have been better. just always neck breaking. That would have been better. That would have been great. Um, but, yeah, and then, um, I can't remember, I don't think any of the other deaths were particularly, they, they didn't stand out. But what's funny is, what, the most, the, the most hilarious thing is, uh, her, you know, her dad's a garbage picker for a living. That's yeah. what he does. Like, him and his, and his buddy just go garbage picking. Like, that's all they do. And, um, there's one part where her wish is, I wish my dad would get to get, like, get his act together. Or, like, you know start you know acting more appropriately and then the is that gonna kill him too no and okay then they well they try to pull the bait and switch she makes a wish she makes that wish and then he like gets a flat tire and then like there then there's like a car that just speeds right by him and shit and then like they're trying to like make you think that the dad's gonna die but he doesn't and then like he drops one of the nut like he's got it you know he's got the car jacked up and he drops one of the screws into the car and then he's like an idiot like like Ooh. climb like like climbing directly crawling underneath it directly and he's like reaching for it, like, dude, just go on the other side of the car and get it. Like, it's, yeah. it's further on the other side. But, but he gets in, and he's fine. Yeah, but then he's fine. And then like, like his tire rolls away, and then another car hits it or something, and then it just flies past him and bounces off a tree or something. It's like, oh, like they're pulling the bait and switch, trying to make you think he's gonna die. But no, the funniest part of all that though is that um, does he get his life together? N- well, yeah, but in the weirdest way possible. And earlier in the movie, he says, like, I think he's either, like, you know, like, organizing all of their materials or whatever, like, you know, because I think um, <clears throat> she wished to inherit, like, you know, her dead uncle, the guy who slipped in the in the um, bathtub was her uncle or something. Yeah. And she wished to inherit all of his shit, which he's got, like, a mansion. So then they live oh. in the mansion, and then I guess they're moving all the shit over there, and then, um, you know, she, she makes, and then it's established that, like... Uh, the dad could play saxophone or something. Oh. So then he's like, "Yeah, I haven't played my saxophone since your mom died." And then and then she makes the wish. I wish my dad would get his act together. And the next scene, he's fucking in the in the living room, just ripping out a sax solo. <laughs> like it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then and then like in the next scene after that, like he's in this like nice living room in their mansion. And he's got a jazz band. Like he's got friends now, yeah. and they're playing like a jazz tune. And then Barb is like, "Man, you're." Your dad is hot sauce. <laughs> it's like, oh, nobody talks like that. <laughs> Fuck you, Barb. <laughs> You're not gonna bang my dad. <laughs> it's not what this is it's about. Worth... I wish Barb was dead. <laughs> it's worth watching <laughs> if you're into dumb movies like that. I know how to pick them, dude. I know how to pick some bad movies. <laughs> and then we watched we watched this other one called The Babysitter, and that one's really bad too. It was terrible. That sounds familiar. It was no, it was I think they intentionally made it bad. But it's a movie about this I think he's like sixteen years old and like he's got really protective parents. So they go away on vacation or something like that. And they, they get him a babysitter. They get the babysitter. And he's good friends with the babysitter and he's kinda got a crush on her and she's like, you know, this really super hot blonde chick or whatever. Yeah, classic. <laughs> and then um 
And then, like, you know, uh, she, he's talking to his other, like, um, friend, like girlfriend that, like, his age. Yeah. And uh, she's like, have you ever stayed up after bed to see what goes on? Like, her boyfriend comes over and fucks her in the living room or whatever. So, like, that's, like, his whole, like, motivation to stay up late, so... So he can watch two people fuck? So, so, she, uh, he's supposed to go, he's supposed to go to bed at, like, you know, 10 o'clock or whatever. So he goes to bed, and then, like, he stays up, and he sneaks out, and he's sitting on the, the stairs watching what's happened, and it's, like, her and, like, a bunch of her friends are doing spin the bottle, because that's what fucking teenagers do, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they go around the circle, and then it's, like, typical shit, like... Like it lands on her, and then and then she Kiss picks. Him. Yeah, she, she's like I, the guy's like, I dare you to kiss everyone here. So then she does it, and then of course when it gets to the other hot girl, like they make out. Of yeah. course, you know, to, to play to that effect. And then they gets to the nerdy guy, and then she kisses him, and then all of a sudden she pulled daggers out of her bag and fucking stabbed him in the head. <laughs> and then they're collecting the blood, and apparently they're gonna do like a satanic ritual. She pulls out the Necronomicon, like legit <laughs> Necronomicon. <laughs> And then they're like, they're gonna do like a, like a satanic ritual, and then they they have to get the 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 blood, they do a blood sacrifice by killing the dude, and then they have to get the blood of an innocent, which is the kid that she's babysitting. Yeah. And the whole premise of the movie is that he's trying to run away from from these people. And it's, what are it's, they trying to summon? What? What are they trying to summon? She just says later in the movie, like it's basically you can get whatever you want. It's like, oh, okay. oh, okay, and it's never established what she wants. She just wants to do the ritual. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> kind of like this, what's going on right here <laughs> in the game. It's like, hey, I just, you want to join us? It's, we, we command the zombies. Oh, they're not commanded by us. It's, it, it, as you can imagine, a really stupid movie. But they, yeah. they, they, I think, embraced how, how dumb it was. Like, they, they weren't trying to make a serious oh, okay, movie. They, that guy, he, he's protected. Yeah. The zombies won't go after him. Yeah. They didn't betray him. But it's... It's, uh... It's... It's silly. It's a silly movie. I don't know if it's worth watching. It's pretty dumb. If you ask Melissa, she'd say, no, don't watch it. Yeah, but she doesn't... She just doesn't get it. I don't think... She doesn't like the bad movies uh, like like you and I do. Yeah, I love bad I movies. I love bad movies. Like, we watch Fateful Findings. Yeah. And I love that movie. I loved it. I don't know. I remember you and I watched it. I think we both had a good time watching it. I love that movie. I give that one like a negative five, negative six. Negative five, negative six. That's pretty good still. Yeah. Like, that's not bad. Like, it can be really boring sometimes, and then it gets it closer to the zero. I'd probably put it in the same range. Yeah. yeah. Negative five, negative six. You see, six. that's yeah. why the room is like a negative eight, negative nine, because it actually keeps you entertained. There's, there's, more, going, there's more going on in the room, if you can imagine, than Faithful Findings, yeah. for sure. Because in Faithful Find, there's a lot of fucking... Nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of nothing, and that's where it brings it back there's down a lot to zero. Of, there's a lot of that, like, really artistic crap, where it's just, like, the shot of the guy's feet walking around, and then he fades yeah. away. Like, what does that mean? It's and just th- boring. And then, like, after that long scene where he's just walking around, he's in the desert all of a sudden, and then there's the fairy book. And then it cuts back, and then, like, the... F- Mirror shaking again, and it's yeah. like okay, you know what's what's good. There's like ten minutes of dead air right there in that movie, but uh, Neil Breen, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I can't believe you committed suicide. What could have driven you to commit suicide? I can't believe it. Come on, you know you like it. No, I told you. No. <laughs> You're not... I'm not signing the deal. Stop calling me. Do not call this number ever again. <laughs> I'm hacking into this government agencies. <laughs> I'm going to tell... He says that like five times in the whole movie. No one can know about this. I'm hacking into... <laughs> He's telling everyone... He tells, he tells everybody... <laughs> but like, no one can know. I love it if like... In that one scene where that young girl is like topless in his pool, he's like, "You've got to stop doing this. I'm hacking into the government mainframes, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to expose them all for the crooks that they are." And I can't be labeled as a pedophile right now. No, he doesn't even acknowledge yeah. that. He's just telling her this. <laughs> I don't him. want you to be here. Also, I'm hacking into the government mainframe. Yeah. If you if you haven't seen Fateful Findings. 
Go out and watch it. It's on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, watch it. It's fantastic. <laughs> or then the one, oh yeah, well, and then like yeah, he exposes all the people, and then, and then like in public, kill themselves. yeah, and then in in public spaces, like I'm here to announce my resignation as the president of the bank, and then he just puts a gun to his head and kills himself. <laughs> yeah, right there, and then the next person steps up and does the same shit. <laughs> Like, it's like, at gunpoint, you had to come up here and kill like, yourself. that doesn't happen in real life. People just accept their consequences, like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there might be one person who wants to commit suicide. Like, yeah, oh, maybe I'm, even like, two. You know, my reputation is irreparable, I can't do anything else in life. But, but a couple like, of those people are, like, old enough that it's like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, they're not all gonna do it. And then, like, the one dude just, like, overdoses in his car. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, Faithful Findings. It's a great. It's a great watch. The next time in Chin Strap Champs, we watch Faithful Findings. God, <laughs> longest episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm.